AECON students finishing up um, this FRQ question from 2019. Uh, my previous video ended with letter D. Um, so if you haven't watched that one yet, you probably want to go back and make sure you check that out. But I'm going to answer letter E for you here um, real quick. So on my little on my screen here, I've got where obviously um, our this is part D where in this case the supply money is increased so interest rates have gone down and it's asking us um, between Canada and Mexico the uh, Canadian interest rates have gone down so what you want to be able to tie into is that Mexico in this case is going to decrease their demand for the Mexican I'm sorry for the Canadian dollar all right at the same time also all righty we are going to um, decrease our supply of Mexican pesos to Canada, all right? So in this particular case, we have a depreciation, all right? And we have an appreciation for Mexico. The question asks you, um, show the effect on the Canadian dollar and the change in the interest rate from Part D. Again, keep in mind what's happening is Mexico is not going to invest in their money in Canadian banks. They're not going to keep it in there anymore. And so it decreases the demand for Mexican currency. It also, and if you did this, you are also correct, it also means that um, Canadians are going to increase their supply for Mexican currency to invest in their banks. Either one you put is correct. If you put both, awesome. Um, hopefully that shores up letter E right there. Thanks for tuning in.